So things are looking pretty good on the negative pack end. I think I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, let's take a look at the positive end of the battery pack. So up here on the front end of the battery pack, I'm going to need a cable to go from there back to the motor controller. And I think I'm going to reuse this Nissan Leaf cable. Nice, thick, heavy-duty cable already has connections on both ends, and it has a rubber boot up here. So I'll rubber boot that on there. Another cool trick is uh, let's take a look at the screws from the original NIM battery pack. Now this is the original NIM battery pack from the Vectrix. And what's neat is these little screws here, some of them had um, a little screw inside for the uh, mounting the temperature sensors. So it has a little tiny screw built right into it. And I can take that out. So what I can do is the um, the cycle analyst needs a small wire going to the positive end of the battery pack so I can uh, connect the positive power cable with this little bolt and then I can run that uh, wire to that little screw right there. And just uh, for example, this is what one of those temperature sensors from the original battery pack looks like. So it uses that little screw to go into the, the top there. So I'm just going to reuse one of those and with the new software for the charger I do not need the temperature sensors anymore as the lithium just doesn't get hot the way the uh, the nickel metal hydride batteries did. So here on the front of the pack I put that uh, Nissan Leaf nice big orange cable wrapped to the other end of course. Um, one thing you don't want to do is it's about 150 volts uh, between this end and the far end so you know if you stuck your finger between just you know, the two terminals of the same cell, that's only 8 volts, nothing's going to happen. However, if you take a cord here and you short it to the end, um, that's not good. So I, I do have all the electrical terminals covered up right now. Uh, and on this end, I did use that bolt from the original uh, NIM battery pack so that I've got right here, it's got that little screw, so I've got a spot for the uh, positive, uh, basically the voltmeter you know, the voltmeter uh, portion of the cycle analyst is going to connect onto that little screw right there. And then the rubber boot covers that up pretty nice. So I'm getting pretty close to putting this into the Vectrix. Now the other thing I thought I would do is put something between the, uh, uh, the box of the Vectrix and the battery pack. This is sort of a fancy high-end um, grip liner. It's kind of designed for toolboxes so when you open a drawer on a big tool case the tools don't slide around. It's a nice non-slip material about an eighth of an inch thick so I thought I'd cut this to about nine inches by 27 inches for the bottom of the Vectrix. So we got a piece of liner then I'll do the same thing for the very front of the box. Okay, so I put that, uh, that kind of uh, anti-slip material down into the bottom of the box. Just left a little short on the end. There is some air slash drainage holes in the bottom I figured I didn't, didn't want to cover. Then I also put a piece in the front I think looks pretty good. Used some of this uh, 3M Super 77. It's kind of a spray-on rubber cement. Works great. So that way I could just uh, that piece is nine inches wide by a foot tall, just stuck it up there. So now I should be able to take that battery, lift it up, put it in here, making sure it's all the way forward before setting it down. And I should have about that much space left over down here. Okay, that should do it. Okay, spin yep. it in. Watch the handlebars. Yep.
just realized that in my all my weird color zip ties, I have high voltage orange. So I'm gonna zip tie the orange positive cable down right there. Okay, so what we're doing here is I've got some corrugated plastic because there's just a tiniest bit of room on either side of the battery pack. So we already put in a piece on the far side. It's a little more snug here. We're gonna get that in maybe some uh, wedges or something to kind of push it over a little bit. There are still these air vents on the front right here. So it comes out inside the box there. So we figured put the coroplast after that. 